type of test in non parametric test which is a rank sum test given by man pitney uh, i'll be sharing my screen hope my screen is visible we'll start with a quick recap what we have done shripriya chatabdi my screen is visible yes sir so if you recall past we had discuss sign test it is applicable to compare two group pair data and we used positive sign negative sign by substituting the given quantitative values data data points okay next we discuss about run test which is actually known as one sample run test this is a method or technique which determines the pattern if it is following a particular pattern or not following which will be calling randomness if there is no pattern we will be calling it random and uh, there also we measure counted number of runs in a series that was the major statistic that we used for the formula today we will be using rank sum test which uses the statistic u so that's why we'll be calling it rank sum u test it is given by to professors man whitney so it is also called as man whitney rank sum u test this will help us again to compare two samples if both the samples varying in a similar pattern or having almost similar variation and we can for us presume assume as if they belong to the same population same characteristic now the last sentence as i was telling sanchari satabdi sri priya it gives us more information than the sign test so we'll be calling this u test is comparatively better than sign test and run test the last sentence is important for us okay now don't forget whatever may be the test better to follow the four steps what are the four steps sanjari you have to have hypothesis sir, hypothesis defining null test and alternative test alternative hypothesis formula then you find the calculated value this has to be compared with tabulated, tabulated value and don't forget for non parametric test we are assuming large sample property and we will be comparing with 1.96 or 2.58 1.596 for 5 percent level and 2.58 for 1 percent level right let us take one numerical sum so that it will be very clear how when we apply a rank sum test say for example we will be comparing uh, some admission test maybe sat or cat where students from different backgrounds appear suppose we wanted to know the type of questions comes in cat is it favoring science engineering background student or favoring more to commons commerce humanity student or almost similar so ma is that clear satadhi is that clear what we want to uh, find verify from cat score mm -hmm. we'll check the background of the student how many of the science engineering student got higher scores how many of other background got higher score so let us denote s for science and engineering background a for others like humanities and commerce say so this is the data okay now from this the principle of this rank sum u test suggest that you find or give ranking irrespective of the branch what is the meaning of irrespective branch surjit in total you will be ranking in this can anybody tell me which is the highest 
1600 so you can give rank one here for branches sit down what is the next number Sir, uh, 15, is it 1550? Yes, sir. So you can give rank two to the second branch. These ranks, you will be putting it as branch S and branch A, and you will be collecting the ranks. So first rank goes here, second branch goes here. Say, for example, rank four, rank five comes here, rank three comes here, like this you will be finding, okay? Then you will be adding the rank, okay? So for each column, you add the ranks, that is called rank sum, okay, Sri Priya. Now, all of you quickly can you note down uh, some of the uh, symbols, nomenclature, N1, N2, R1, R2. N1, sample size of a sample, N2, sample size of second sample. R1 is the rank sum of first sample. R2 is the rank sum of second sample. At this point, let me clarify. A ranking can be done in two ways. Two ways means what, Swastik Das? Yes, sir. <laughs> ranking can be done in two ways. Yes, Sri Priya. So, uh -huh. giving the ascending highest order or descending. Ascending the highest can be given rank one, or if you so wish, you can also do it in the ascending order. So, Saparika, correct. Now, Levin's book has followed in ascending order, but let us all follow in principle in descending order, the way we do it in Indian context, somebody has got the highest mark, we give one. But let me clarify, whether you're doing it ascending or descending, answer will be same, don't worry, okay? All of you uh, follow this. Now, if you find rank sum, Arga, what is the meaning of rank sum? How we are getting uh, rank sum? 30 seconds, what about? Arga, then the people see part. Uh, first, we have to rank the individual branches. How will be ranking? How will be ranking? First, the highest rank will be given one. Together. Ajay Ho. Okay, ranking Ajay will be done irrespective of branch. That is very important. Don't forget. Rohit, is that clear? So, R1 is sum total of the ranks belonging to first branch, and R2 is rank sum of second. Okay. Now, what are the situations that may uh, arise? So, stay. can we have three situations like this? Yes, sir. Now, let us debate now for two minutes. First situation, Satabdi, what is the meaning? What it would imply? Are you getting my question? Satabdi followed by Sanchari, if required. Sir, rank one is greater than rank two. Uh, that is, sir, uh, the sum of uh, branch A score are better than the B scores. So uh, we are proving that S, there... S is, S is uh, uh, okay, okay. Arga, you need to only quote Satabdi. You are not giving your own opinion. Can you tell what Satabdi told? What is the uh, inference conclusion? She told that uh, branch... A is science science. engineering students doing better. better. Did she say that? Yes, so, Sikh Sripriya, you agree with Satabdi because she is your friend? No, sir. Uh, since the uh, rank sum for R1, the first category is greater than R2, uh, the R2, it shows that R2 uh, students do better in the. So, the are you getting? Are rank agar jada hoga, will you be happy? Suppose your rank is 97, Siddhan Swinga rank is 3. Who is better? Yes, sir. Are you now correcting yourself? Just repeat. Yes, sir. So, this is the logic. The person who has rank one is better than rank two. Who is better? 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 Who is better?
What is situation two? Situation two opposite of Rashtra. Science Rohitas. engineering uh, students are doing better. Right, Rohitas, what is the third situation? What is the conclusion? So can you repeat, sir? I can hear you properly. Situation one, two, discuss Karchuk. Situation three, Prajwal. Yes, sir. Uh, so rank. Uh... So that both of them have the same rank. Okay. So all students do almost equally. You can say that, Prajwal? Okay. Yes, sir. Jo cat ka question pattern hai, it's nahi like covering one branch. It's all, almost equal. So this is the logic what these two professors thought of incorporating in their formula, okay? So this is the background of basis of rank sum test, okay? Now this we have already written, and this is for clarity, N1, N2, R1, R2. So N1, N2 in this case is by chance equal, but it's not necessary. It could also vary, okay? All of you remember? Now, uh, moving forward, all of you first write the formula. Easy to remember, I told we'll be using a statistics called U statistics. So Z equals to U minus mu by sigma. All of you have written the formula. Next line, uh, write so that the where U equals to N1 into N2 plus N1 into N1 plus 1 by 2 minus R1 separately. Right? And mu is N1 into N2 by 2. Clear? So that example, which you have discussed, again, I'm repeating the formula. Hope you have already written. All of you written, Vidhan Swain. Yes, Can we proceed? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is what we have explained. Arga, look to the screen. What we have done, as a whole, all data will be putting ranking. Say, for example, uh, this is highest 11, 20, we're putting rank nine here. Next is 11, and we're putting rank 10, and it is 11, like this, separately we're doing it. And R1 stands for rank sum one. So this is how we'll be calculating. All of you clear the procedure? Then, now let's take one numerical sum. Okay, uh, um, uh, please. Sir, so, uh, in the formula of u, what is the value of r? <laughs> so, take what is the value of r? The uh, rank sum of the first one. First group. R1 ray, century. Okay, so. In okay. scientists, the way we have taken only p value, not q value. Here, we are using only one rank sum, that is r1. We are not using R2. We'll discuss later whether you take R1 or R2, answer will be same, okay? All of you first copy the data, then let us do it together. I need your help. All of you copied? Okay, Siddhant, Swastik, Satabdi, others help me. Where should I put rank one? So you can also do uh, uh, column wise in your notebook. Okay. You strike it 48 and write one. Next. 47. 47. How many times? One time. Or two times. So what should I write? Sustik. Sustik on mute. One plus one by two. Okay, next. Help Karna. 
yes sir uh, 40 44 44 44 how many times two times so what should i write uh, sir sir so 3.5 3. 3 chala gaya re so samna so then 40 40 would be 8, eight. eight. next so then 38 38 ha huh? 38 will nine. be 9 nine. 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 next so then 35 35 will be 1 two. Sir, sir, 2 sir 2 times sir 10.5 10.5 10.5 10 then 10, 34 will be what? 13.5. 34 is how much? 2 times, sir. 2 times. So 13, 14, so 13.5 and 13.5. Next. 33. 33. 33 will be what? 15. 15. Next. 32. But it will be 16. 16. 16. Then 31. 31 will be 17. And then 30, 18. 30, 18. 26, 19. 19, 26, 19. 25, 20. 20. Okay. Now, those who have written uh, column wise like this. You add only first rank, and this will be rank sum of one. Can anybody uh, get me this? Please add 116.5. Is 116.5. What is N1? What is N1? Are you to follow? What is N1? 10. 10. N2. Equals to N2. N1 equals to N2. Okay. Then you find U value. What is U value? So, ma'am. Find all of you find U mu sigma. Then you have to find J. J equal to U minus mu by. Sir, how to find U value? Are formula take na? U value is there. Somebody should help. 